Both supposed people. Herd mentality always prevails when people sort themselves into groups, no matter the situation. It can be helpful in lending authority to institutions that wouldn't otherwise command it, but more often than not, it generates malevolence, leading to great conflict. Like wars, you mean? Yes, in the most extreme cases. Even the conflict between the Knights and the Church could be considered a war, if on a much smaller scale. War is the people's history. I read that in a book once, and I think I get it now. Would it be better for me not to get involved? What do you think? I want to know. Even if the reality is bleak, it is still part of the world we live in. Then let us go forth. This is your adventure. No, it's our adventure. Mine and those who believe in me. Uh, She's gotten used to us being a- Yeah, I feel like she mostly has. She may be a big old scaredy cat, but she's pretty adaptable. I'm not so sure. That fear of hers may run deeper than it looks. Remember, it was powerful enough to suppress even her prodigious resonance. With the help of someone we know. I don't have to apologize for anything. But even so, Rose tagged along of her own volition. I'm sure she'll be just fine. I want to believe she will. Human compatriots like Rose are one in a million. In more ways than one. Yeah, in more ways than one. <laughs> What's so funny? I was just thinking, maybe we're the ones getting used to Rose and not the other way around. Very likely. <laughs> ah, you're talking to Lila and the others while they're invisible again, aren't you? Creepalicious! <laughs> Guess she's still got a ways to go. It just takes time and patience. This town's just bursting with sinister rumors, isn't it? Yeah. No wonder they call it the Age of Chaos. And a lot of them sure sound like the work of Hellions. If you're interested, why don't we investigate? But we have some place to be already. Taking a little sidetrack isn't gonna kill us. It's not like we promised a specific time frame or anything. I'm with Rose. Me too. It's a good opportunity. Why squander it? <laughs> Fair point. All right, let's do it. No regrets. Except the regret of getting involved. See, I tell you. The gears get moving, the bells get swinging, and it sounds like the most entrancing music. Now that's something I'd like to hear. Wow! You'll only get something like this in the City of Artisans. Such craftsmanship. Oh, an art appreciator now, are you? I wonder how the motor works. Don't ask me. I hear the sound of the drawworks. They're probably utilizing the power of the aqueduct running underground. Aqueduct? Really? Nothing I can see suggests that. That's because it's a hidden refuge area. This place was built as a fort in the first place. Oh, so that's why this place is surrounded by castle walls. Before it was a fancy belfry, this was a communication tower for sending smoke signals. So much history everywhere. This is too cool. Guys seriously geek out over the weirdest things. <laughs> well, let them have their fun. Yeah, I suppose. Oh. Okay. Nothing random in the fusion of equipment. Can you just tell it to me short and simple before I fall asleep? Sure. First, the rules for fusing two different equipment skills only apply to those located in the same slot. So it actually does matter which slot each skill is positioned at. Yes. What skill is placed in which slot is a very important factor in equipment fusion. So it's important to... <sighs> well, it's... Huh? Are you asleep? Okay. Well, this doesn't look good. We're in a foul place. This feeling. We've been in places like this before. It's a crucible of malevolence. They make Hellions fight to make them nastier. Venomization. A diabolical practice. It appears this ruin was built to do just that. Who would make such a thing? 
I don't know, but there are several places such as this on the Glenwood continent. I had thought they had all been sealed up, but... Looks like they're back in business. This has to be held off. No question about it. We'll stop this! Something's blocking our way. It must be to keep outsiders from entering. It's most likely that only certain people are allowed inside. So, it's me alone, huh? A solo fight. If it were me, I could ask for nothing better. Hmm. So... ...and telling with her origami flower things. Saray won't lose, Saray will win. Saray won't lose, just like that. She left paper scraps all over. I had Mebo clean it up, though. Of course, I believed in you, but it was just so... Sorry for making you worry. Thanks, Lila. No, it's fine. My fortune-telling was right after all. <laughs>